Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I hope all are doing great. So today our topic is that how to open a form using X++ code. Okay, actually how we open the form like, you know, uh, we'll just set a form as a startup object and we will be opening the form by clicking on start or control plus F5, right? Or we can open a form using display menu item as well. But today I'm just going to explain you how to open a form using X++ code. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and uh, create a class first. I mean to say runnable class and we'll just write some code in it. So add new item. So now you are able to see this uh, window templates will be having. So here uh, in code, you'll be able to find a runnable class and the job and braces is a job. Actually job is something that in AX 2012, we used to call runnable class as a job. Okay, so that is the reason they have mentioned in braces. So you can just, um, you know, give a specific name. I can give AX or D365. This is, uh, this is my prefix 365 underscore open form. Okay, as this is for demonstration purpose, I'm just giving a random name. So you have to give your uh, give the name form name according to your requirement and according to your organization specifications. Okay, so click on add. So whenever I click on add the uh, this this window will be open for us. Okay, so now we'll just start write some writing some code here. Okay, so. Okay. So first you have to introduce what arcs. So I'll tell you, don't worry about all the steps. I'll, I'll just tell you, let me write this. Arcs is equals to new arcs. Arcs is equals to new arcs. Here we are just creating a memory. Arcs dot name. So here you have to give a form name. Okay, you here you have to give form name. What is the form name? Form str of form str of what is our form name here? D3 uh, uh, AX underscore form, right? AX underscore form. So here you have to give your form name. Now just click enter. Form run is equal to class factory. So there is a class factory. Dot form run class of you have to give here arcs okay so here you have to write form run dot init so just copy this form run So form run dot run run method form run dot wait method. So let first we'll just save. Okay. So we'll just check whether if we have any errors. So no errors as of now. So see uh, why we use arcs so actually we will just get to know in this particular uh, you know thing why we use arcs actually arcs is something that it is giving some argument okay arcs is something that it gives some arguments so here what what it is doing it is 
asking it is giving a argument to open a form args dot name so without uh, creating an uh, variable for the args you cannot access right so that's the reason our we have created a variable for args and for object as well object means in object only we'll just give a form right so so that uh, args is something that it gives a argument and args dot name here we gave whatever the form that we want to open right so um and here there are three methods and that, that is init run await method so obviously we'll just have this particular method whenever we are just going to open a form okay init method run method and wait method so this is how that we can uh, create a code to open a form using x plus plus okay what we'll do is let's uh, save this and let's uh, set this uh, class as a startup object and uh, let's run this okay so that we'll just check how this can be i mean how we'll be able to open the form okay view solution explorer just set this particular class as a startup object okay run this uh, run this uh, particular code so how you are going to run this particular code so by clicking a few persons will click directly on start uh, or actually i choose like control plus f5 okay if you have a fn key you can just click on control plus fn plus f5 okay let's wait for um, i mean uh, to build the code so the build is completed so let's check so it's opening something so we'll just wait for a couple of minutes to open it so let's see whether uh, the form will be opened by using x++ code or not so running class so let's wait it's uh, running see here the form is open what is the form name ax form right so the, what is the form name it's a ax form actually i have not added any data source in this particular form you can uh, and i have not added anything in this form just i have added a form pattern let me show you so double click on your form so i have not added any data source and i have not add, added anything in the grid so that is the reason the form is empty but the form is opening okay so in this way that you can just um, i mean use your form okay i mean the, uh, you can just uh, use uh, x plus plus code to open a form okay all right then uh, if you like the video just uh, hit the like button and please subscribe it